Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to quickly come on here and do my first impressions review on my Chanel 20cc clutch with chain. And I wanted to do this sooner rather than later because for this season 20p, Chanel has come out with it again. And it's in, it's not in this maxi quilting, but it's in the regular size quilting. And they came out with this beautiful pink color and also the classic black. And so I wanted to do this review and show you guys um, the pros and cons and whatnot of this clutch so that if you were interested, you can go out and not miss out on this season's um, release. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Um, I forgot to do the dimensions of this bag. Um, I should have measured beforehand, but um, I will put it down in the description box below. So as you can see, this is a very tiny little um, mini bag. Um, it has the um, CC turn lock in the front and it has that little oval mark that says Chanel Paris and has the logo in the middle. And you see these on like Chanel jewelry pieces on the back of them. Um, it has the Chanel um, trendy CC plaque on the top, which I think it's so beautiful. And as you can see, I haven't taken the sticker off because yeah, I don't know. I'm just scared that it's gonna get scratched up the minute I take it off, but I will. <laughs> I think it looks a little tacky with that on there. But yeah, I haven't done it yet. So it has, mine has the maxi quilting, which the quilting size is a lot bigger. I really like that because I think it reminds me kind of like the, you know, Chanel 19 bag that everybody's just going crazy over. I, I And this little, little tiny bag with that big quilting, I just think it looks really, really good. So I love that. Um, the quilting goes around, like it's on the front and then it goes around to the back but the bottom and the sides don't have it. So the bottom and the sides are just like the plain lambskin. It has the champagne gold hardware and the chain is, it's, I noticed immediately that the chain was very weighty, um, but I really like that because it makes it feel very, very substantial and luxurious and it just feels so nice in my hands. So I really love that about it. Um, when you open it up, it has um, a compartment with um, four credit card slots. Um, the interior is the fabric um, interior that you see in um, Chanel SLGs. It has that leather piece on the back that says Chanel made in Italy, although you can't really see it from this angle, but it's there. Um, the hologram sticker is on the front, right underneath that first, um, that first credit card slot. And let me see, um, as you can see, the chain is connected all the way, it just goes around um, through the two grommets, and so you won't be able to take this off. However, um, you can play with it. Like, um, you know how you would do for a walk? You can play around with it to make the length shorter or longer, and it's actually very, very versatile, I really love it. Oh, and I did wanna point out, can you see this? It's um, the plaque on the back, it says Chanel Paris, but if you look at the screws, it's not the standard, um, you know, that straight line screw that you see on the um, classic flaps. It has that, you know, kind of like that star shaped um, screw. I don't know what they're called. But anyways, I did want to point that out because when you're doing like authenticity checks, um, a lot of people say that um, that the screws need to be just the straight line and anything else is fake. Well, this is authentic and it doesn't come with those screws. So just wanted to point that out to you guys. So yeah, this is it. I mean, it's a mini bag. There's nothing more to it. Um, but um, yeah, I I think like when I first saw it in, in videos and I saw it on um, in pictures, I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller than it actually is. And so I brought my um, mini rectangular out to show you guys side by side. Let me get it right here. And this mini rectangular is from 17C and it feels big <laughs> compared to the other one. But um, mine has the edge stitching, which I really, really love. And side by side, this is how it looks. So let me do that so that you can really see that it's actually a very good size. I mean, it's tiny, but it's a very good size because it has that thickness to it. And um, yeah, if you put this in front of the mini rectangular, you can see that it comes right up to the edge of the little um, flap um, turn lock piece there. So it's it's over half the size of the mini rectangular. It's a little bit shorter. Um, if you look at it from the sides, you can see that it is narrower. But again, like I said, it's it's bigger 
it's a mini bag, but it's bigger than you would think is what I'm trying to say. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's a really good size. Um, I'm very surprised at um, how useful it is because you would think that a tiny, like the Jacquemus bags and all those tiny bags, I just, I can't do those. I thought they would look silly. But for whatever reason, this bag did not look silly to me. It actually looked like a useful piece and I found it to be a useful piece. And I've always really liked the square, um, the square mini that they have, that Chanel has. And I've actually thought about replacing my, you know, rectangular mini with a square mini, but rectangular minis are so hard to come by that's why I've been hesitating but I feel like this just you know fills that void that I've wanted that square shape and I think this is just perfect so I did bring out a, a few of my SLGs to show you what fits inside um let's start with a standard card holder so this is the, the Chanel st standard card holder it's in the standard size um Chanel card holders are slightly wider then um, other like YSL, I believe LVs is a little bit narrower as well. Um, this is actually just, just the same width as this CC clutch with chain. So going by dimensions only, you would think that it would fit, but you would be wrong because this trendy CC, the sides go in substantially. Can you see that? And it's like that on both sides. So, when you put something that's about the same width as the, as the clutch with chain, what happens is, this, is that you will actually be able to get it in, but when you go to close it, do you see what happens? The sides come out like this. It does that weird trapezio thing, and it looks ridiculous. It really does. So basically, you cannot put anything um, in here that is wide as wide as the clutch with chain dimension wise it has to be a little bit narrower so I have a Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet um, and this wallet is so great in that it fits in any mini bag that you could have it has um, you know it has like the card slots and everything and the zipper zipped um, coin section and you can put in bills you guys all know how wonderful this piece is. Well, I found that the Zoe wallet fits in here perfectly. And to be honest, I think if I were using this piece, I wouldn't use a wallet. I would just use the card slots. But if you didn't want to switch back and forth from your bags, um, you know, by taking your cards out and having to fill them in, if you're the type of person who just likes putting items in and out, if you have a Zoe wallet, it is perfect and it closes perfectly. So the sides do bulge out, but they don't do that ridiculous um, trapezio thing, you know, where it comes all the way out. It's still narrow enough that it will bulge, but it won't, you know, look ridiculous. But a better way to put this in would be to put it in vertically because the Zoe wallet is very narrow as well. So when you put it in vertically, it fits absolutely perfectly. You can also put in the Hermes Bastia, which is another great, great piece for this clutch. When you put this in with the Zoe wallet, it fits in perfectly with a little bit of room to spare. And you could put in your keys like that and Look at that, that is perfect. This is how I've been carrying it. Um, I've carried it like this with a wallet, with the Hermes Bastia I use as a wallet, I put my coins in, or I use it as um, a catch-all to put my little things that would run around in the bag and put my keys in there and it's perfect. But I do prefer not to carry a wallet when I'm using this piece, so I will actually use this as a wallet with coins and cash in there. I will put this in. I will have my keys. I will put in a lipstick 
And um, I don't know if you've noticed, I hope you didn't look at my hands because my hands are doing something awful right now. It's seriously dry and chapped and it's broken. And so what I did is I put in my Chanel hand cream right in the middle. And this is pretty much all I needed <laughs> for the days that I took this little piece out. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. It's perfect. It's perfect. So this is how I was carrying her. Um, I carried her like this yesterday and then um, I decided, you know what, I have to do this review. I have to show these people how wonderful this piece is. So yeah, I mean, for a small bag, for a mini bag, isn't that amazing? Like how much you can put in there? I'm telling you, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a really good size for a mini bag. It really is. And if you have a Bastia, like can you, like I, I seriously am considering getting another Bastia so that I could use one as a wallet and then one as kind of like a catch-all, put it in there and then put my keys in there. And then I feel like that would be all that I would need, you know, like those three pieces. Oh, and I did used to own the Kirigami set, which I have since sold. Um, I only sold it because, I mean, it's wonderful. I think like I would have kept it um, if I hadn't wanted something else. <laughs> like when I got that Lady Dior, um, I sold my Kirigami because I knew like, yeah, I knew I needed, you know, extra funds. And yeah, I sold the Kirigami because of the Lady Dior, which I'm loving. And I need to do a review on that bag too, because, oh my gosh, you guys, that bag is amazing. So anyways, the small Kirigami fits in here perfectly. And uh, I ha when I was, you know, meeting up with a friend and I showed her this bag and she had her Kirigami with her and she was using it as card holder. So we tried it in there and it fit perfectly. So if you had like a Bastia and then a Kirigami and then put in your keys like that, again, that works perfectly. So yeah, I mean, for a mini bag, it holds enough. And I really, really love that. So just to show you guys um, in comparison, um, this is the Chanel Zippy coin purse. Again, this is about the same. This is actually slightly narrower than this. And so I thought, well, let's try it and see how it goes. And what I found is that it fits in like that. It, it looks okay, right? But then uh, when, you, when you start closing it, you can tell immediately what's gonna happen, right? It's gonna bulge out. So yeah, and then the, the length, I mean, the height, it's too high. You can't close it like that. Um, again, for the um, key holder, Chanel key holder, again, this will go in, same as the Zippy coin, but again, when you close it, it bulges out. So again, that's not something you could hold in there. Um, I just wanna show you what it looks like next to the mini O case. I mean, I just wanted to show you this, not, not because I'm gonna put this in here, of course it's not gonna fit, but just, you know, just size comparison. And you can see that it's like substantially bigger. Like, it's not a small, it's, it's a tiny bag, but it's not that tiny, which is what I love. And then here it is side by side to the mini pochette. So I'm j I just wanna do this to give you an idea of size because I know like when I see um, people show bags, I, it's really hard for me to tell how big it's actually going to be without seeing it in person. And I've been surprised a few times about how small or how big something is. So, so yeah, I just wanna show you what it looks like next to it, just so you know, like you can get like a good size comparison and kind of get an idea for what the size is like. So yeah, that's what they look like side by side. So anyways, this is great. I mean, I love it. Um, it's really great. I think I will probably be using this when we travel, especially when we travel, because it's so small that you can put it in your luggage and carry it with you, no problem. Um, it's small enough that you can put all your essentials in there and then carry it underneath a jacket or a coat or a sweater because, you know, when you go to... Um, other places that's not the US, you know, you do have to worry about pickpocketing and things like that a lot. So, so yeah, in that sense, I feel like this would be perfect. I think I do like this more than a walk. Um, and the only downside to this would be the fact that, you know, you cannot put a phone in here. So that would be the one thing. But again, like when you're carrying something like this, who really wants to, you know, I don't think you, you need to put your phone in there. Um, and 
especially for me when I'm like, I told you like, because of my kids, I have my tote with me almost all the time. I'm like carrying a big bag full of stuff that I have to hold for them. Um, so when I have this on, like I just, I won't even take this off when I'm driving. I'll just like have it on like an accessory and I'll just drive and, and just not even worry about it. Like I'll, it'll be, it, it feels literally like I have my wallet in my pocket kind of, but it's like on me. And again, I mean, it's, it's great. I love it. So, um, the versatility of this, I do want to share with you. You can wear it, you know, single strap and it's a great length. It's a great, great, great length crossbody. It works perfectly. And then what else you can do is you can do this and make it so that the chain is up top. It actually looks kind of cute like that too. And then you can wear it like this as a shorter crossbody or a shor shorter shoulder bag. Um, or you can also do what you do with a walk is just go over and under like that, like that. And then carry it a little bit shorter if you wanted to. You could also totally double it up and then wear it as like a really short um, shoulder bag or even just, you know, kind of carrying it like this with it wrapped around your wrist. Oh, it's so cute. I'm, I'm telling you, it's seriously such a, such a cute piece. Um, and then another final thing that I found is you could totally, totally wear this as a waist bag. You, <laughs> I don't know, like <laughs> I tried it and it actually works and I was really surprised and I'm like, oh my gosh, it works as a waist bag. I forget how I did it though. Um, I think basically it's, it just, you know, you just go around your waist like this and then, um, oh, and then that's what I did. I, I just went, stepped into it and then put, pulled this around my waist. And then I have those little clips that you can like kind of, you know, clip together and I would just, you know, adjust this so that it would be, you know, tied around my waist. And then I just clipped it like this. And then it would, it totally, totally worked as a belt bag. So I'm telling you, like, there are multiple ways that you could wear this, and it's, I love it. I love it so, so much. So if you guys are near Chanel and they have, you know, just ask them if they have the Trendy CC Clutch with Chain. Take a look at it because I think you will be surprised at how much you like it when you see it. Okay, so here are the mod shots. So I have it um, set like this. Oops. And over the shoulder, it looks like this. So it's a really great length over the shoulder. It also works great crossbody. For your reference, I am five foot four and I do wear like a US size 10 to 12. And for me, it's perfect. Like if you were skinnier, it would be lower on you. But for me, it's absolutely perfect crossbody. I think it looks so cute. And then you could also play around with the straps. Like I um, mentioned before, you could make it shorter and then use it as like a shoulder, like right under your arm shoulder bag like that, which I think is also cute. You could also just wrap this around your wrist and just use it like this as like a little clutch on your arm, which I think also it looks great, especially when you have those chains. Um, another thing you could do is pull it like this so that you have a little chain top handle. And um, the clips, I don't, I didn't bring it down here with me, but if you clip it in the inside so that it's, it's like actually hanging down like that, that would also be super cute. But yeah, you could use it like this and make it a little bit shorter. And then finally, I did mention to you guys that I could actually use this as a belt bag and I'll show you how I did it. Um, I haven't actually worn it as a belt bag, but I've just tried it on. And what I did is I would just like step into it like so, have it around my waist. And then to adjust it, I would just pull it from the inside, have like a little clip to do, um, to, um, you know, get it to the length that I wanted. And look at this guys. Oh my gosh. Don't you think that is so cute? It totally works as a belt bag. Yeah, so I think it's so versatile. It's such a great, great piece and definitely something that you guys should try or, you know, check out. So 
So yeah, this is my Trendy CC Clutch with Chain. I really hope these mod shots helped. I hope you liked the review, and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.